The biggest star in the world is back after years of hiding, but now she looks completely different. Adele looks way too skinny here. Everyone struggles to lose weight, but she lost 100 pounds. Ooh. I thought she looked happy. She is on a healthy journey. It's not my job to validate how people feel about their bodies. Yeah, but Adele has been having extreme reactions to breakups for years. Boys are an addiction. My world does fall apart every time a romantic thing goes wrong. Us Weekly claims Adele was inspired to slim down after she split from her ex-husband Simon Konecki. Extreme heartbreak and weight loss. We've seen that before with Adele's friend. Amy Winehouse found dead in her London home. She never took it seriously, just how inspired I was by her. Where the guy I was seeing went back to his ex-girlfriend. I didn't have anything to go back to, so I wasn't eating. Is Adele putting herself in danger like Amy did? Love. That's like a real drug, isn't it? She's always been like this. It's not important what the world thinks it's important what my boyfriend thinks of me. Everything I did was for him. Should we get worried? I fell in love with someone who I would have died for. You can literally die from a broken heart. Were we wrong about her comeback? My main goal in life is to be loved and love. I've been obsessed with a nuclear family my whole life because I never came from one. Adele was addicted to love, even though it always left her feeling alone. Adele's dad left when she was three and remained absent for most of her life. I was definitely always trying to fill that void. But her friend Amy showed her how to turn her heartbreak into something beautiful. My mom had her children, was bringing them up single-handedly because when my dad was there, he was never there. Anything that have problems with I'll write a song about it so I can feel better. I write about my mum and dad's their separation. I was so inspired by her. She never took it seriously just how inspired I was by her. The only way I could access how I was actually feeling was was by doing my music. And side by side, they rose to become the biggest artists in the world. Schoolmates Adele and Amy Winehouse are topping charts around the globe. And you're all coming up and you're all finding your voice and yeah. singing your songs and just an incredible time. Thank you to my manager and I love you like you're my dad. I don't love my dad, that's the thing. I love you like I would love my dad. But Adele watched helplessly as fame destroyed Amy. You see Amy Winehouse this week? She looks like a campaign poster from neglected horses. And the media treatment pushed her further and further over the edge. A well, major loss in the music world tonight, the gifted singer Amy Winehouse found dead in her London home. I miss the fact that I'll never hear new music from her again. It's just devastating. Adele became fiercely private to protect herself until her worst fear became a reality. Adele's estranged father sells a story to the press, claiming the singer's struggle with love is because of her abandonment issues caused by him. The mirror reveals that Adele is furious about her dad exploiting her privacy, saying, quote, how dare you comment on my life? He will never hear from me again. Adele escaped into love with the man that became her husband. Simon probably saved my life. I could have easily self-destructed from being so overwhelmed by all of it and he was the most stable person I've ever had in my life up until that point. I just from a very young age promised myself that when I had kids that we'd stay together we would be that united family. Adele has given birth to a baby boy named Angelo. Him and Angelo like they were angels sent to me. Adele retreated from the world immersing herself in the calm of home life. But even with the family she always wanted, Adele still had a void in her heart. I do remember one of my friends who were answering these questions in this magazine. What's something that no one would ever know about you? And I just, I just said it in front of three of my friends. I was like, I'm really not happy. I'm not, I'm not living. I'm just plodding along. When I admitted to my own friends who thought I was really happy, that actually I'm really unhappy. I was like, what am I doing? What, what am I doing it for? I left my marriage my whole life fell apart and every other ambition to do anything completely left me like I didn't even want to wash my hair I didn't want to get out only Angelo could see how unhappy Adele really was he plucked up the courage he said to me he said I can't see you for him you know to be little and say I can't see you it's broke my heart Adele had to learn to love herself I spent a lot of time on my own really sitting in my feelings. Once I realized that I had a lot of work to do on myself, I started working out lots and to keep me sort of centered. It became my time, myself together. So you together. weren't even starting out trying to lose weight? No, not at all. I wasn't bothered about that at all. I really contributed towards me getting my mind right. In order to move forward, you have to deal with things. You can't just hide them. I was so angry at my dad for so long. My divorce really humanized my parents for me. Just as Adele was learning to love herself, she got some devastating news. The last two, three years of my life, my dad got really sick. I went to go and see him. He wished that he'd done what I had been doing for myself. The journey. He wished he'd done it, yeah. Yeah. Um, and he was proud of me for doing it. So it was it was very, very healing. When my dad died, I felt that that huge gaping hole fill. 
we forgave each other. Having healed her relationship with her dad, Adele wanted to do the same for Angela. He sees that I still love his dad. We live across the street from each other, like we like we're away together. So me and Simon also chat away without Angela. Yeah, I respect him more than anyone. Adele returned and continued Amy's legacy by creating music that helped others feel less alone. But if they've got a camera or a phone, put the light on and shine it. And she can see us now. This is for Amy. I just wanted to write music that was emotional and that people would connect with. The music helped me in any situations and I would like to do you know, the same for people to be reminded that they're not alone. Adele is back and is breaking records with her most emotional album yet. Who is this album for, aside from yourself? This is the first time that my son has ever seen me perform. It's the absolute honour of my life, baby, to have you here tonight. You look so beautiful and so handsome and smart. By loving herself, Adele finally found the love she'd been looking for. It's, I think it's as loving for the kids, finding your own happiness so that they really know who you are. It's a process, you know, the process of arriving for yourself every single day, turning up for yourself every single day, and move forward with intention. I don't have to expect someone else to give me stability. I can also be stable for myself. Your love for yourself comes first. Yeah.